happy Monday. Monday. <laughs> Nate and I are getting ready to celebrate Christmas in Yosemite, and we're treating ourselves to a stay at one of our favorite hotels. The Alani. Now, one of the most asked questions I receive about my travels to Yosemite is where do you stay? So this week, we're bringing you with us to get a little taste of what this historic hotel has to offer. Let's check it out. In 1916, the newly formed National Park Service began a concerted effort to attract visitors to Yosemite. But some more prominent tourists were hesitant to stay at the park due to the primitive conditions of the facilities here. So Donald Tresider, president of the Yosemite and Curry Company, oversaw the building of the Grand Awani Hotel. Just before opening day, a Douglas fir parking area and entryway were built to keep the exhaust fumes from vehicles away from Awani guests. The hotel was designed by famed architect Gilbert Stanley Underwood, who also designed Grand Canyon North Rim Lodge, Zion Lodge, and Bryce Canyon Lodge. The Awani was constructed from 5,000 tons of granite, 1,000 tons of steel, and 30,000 feet of timber. Construction lasted 11 months, and this opulent Yosemite Hotel opened in July of 1927. Current-day Yosemite is the ancestral homeland to several native tribes. And where the Awani Hotel now sits, in this beautiful uh, valley meadow, was the home village to one of those local tribes. And they thrived here for hundreds of years before the national park existed. Yeah. One important factor in the opening of this hotel was its ability to welcome guests year-round, particularly in the winter months. So many winter activities were highlighted nearby the hotel, including skiing, snowshoeing, and ice skating. This site was chosen for the hotel due to its exposure to the sun, allowing for natural heating and its incredible views of many iconic Yosemite formations, including Royal Arches, Glacier Point, Half Dome, and Yosemite Falls. There are many wonderful Yosemite Valley hikes and points of interest that you can visit when you're staying at the Awani. Like the Awani Bridge? <laughs> this historic bridge is just a few steps from the hotel itself, so it's easy to visit year-round. Absolutely. <laughs> My favorite views from this hotel is Yosemite Falls in the distance. Originally, this hotel was slated to be called the Yosemite All Year Round Hotel, but that was changed just prior to opening to reflect the native name the local Ahuanichi people called this valley. Awani, meaning place of the gaping mouth. 
And as you walk the grounds here and take in the grandeur of the towering mountains surrounding the valley floor, the name perfectly reflects this majestic place. The Alamani is considered a masterpiece in architecture, um, which is made to reflect the beautiful natural surroundings, along with a AAA four diamond status and being a member of the Historic Hotels of America. The Alamani was added to the U.S. National Register of Historic Places in 1977, and it was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1987. As you stroll the hotel, you'll see countless details and artifacts reflecting the incredible history here. I think it's pretty easy to get in the holiday spirit here at the Alani, don't you think? Absolutely. <laughs> From the giant fireplaces lined with garland and twinkling lights to the numerous Christmas trees throughout the property, you definitely feel the holiday spirit here. Even if you're not staying at the hotel, the restaurant is the perfect place to grab breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And I always stop by the sweet shop when I'm here. Now my personal go-to has to be cake pops every time. The Awani Bar is a perfect place to grab a bite for lunch. You can also get hot cocoa to go at the bar and take it with you on your Yosemite adventures. For breakfast, I love to enjoy the buffet at the restaurant or grab a few pastries to go. For lunch, I nap a table at the bar and I order the charcuterie board and sourdough bread every time. You can also peruse the gift shop for local and seasonal goods. Reservations are almost always necessary to enjoy dinner here at the Awani dining room. With the piano playing and the soft candlelight glow, this spot is extra romantic in the evening. The soaring 30-foot high crossbeam ceilings and giant cathedral windows are a highlight here. The local menu options are always delicious. And of course, dessert is definitely a must. The dining room has a distinctly different, yet equally beautiful feel during the day. As daylight floods through the giant windows, you get spectacular views of Yosemite Falls in the distance, and you never know what wildlife you might see right out the window. Located just off the dining room, the Great Lounge is one of the main public spaces in the hotel that anyone can come experience. Christmas decor can be seen everywhere here throughout the holidays. And to keep the hotel filled throughout Christmas, entertainment was originally proposed and a themed 18th century English Christmas banquet was planned. Since 1927, the annual Bracebridge Holiday Dinner has been drawing Awani visitors here. Many historic native artifacts, including baskets and large tapestries, can be viewed up close here. This grand space spans nearly the full width of the first floor wing, and a special highlight are the two large fireplaces that bookend the room, made from cut sandstone. It's amazing how much they warm this space in the winter, and there's plenty of seating to cozy up by the fire here.
the mural room is home to some spectacular wall art. At Christmas time, there's a beautiful gingerbread display here, depicting another historic Yosemite structure, the Yosemite Valley Chapel, and iconic Half Dome in the distance. One of the many fascinating bits of history in this building is that the Navy actually leased the hotel during World War II from 1943 to 1945. This was known as the Yosemite Special Hospital and almost 900 hospital beds and patients were set up inside here. The Winter Club Room was named for the Yosemite Winter Club, which was founded in 1928 and dedicated to promoting winter sports here in Yosemite. This cozy sitting room is filled with floor to ceiling display cases featuring vintage photos of Yosemite's winter activities. Would you believe that Disneyland's The Grand Californian Hotel was actually inspired in part by this historic hotel? Walt Disney himself stayed as a famous guest here, and Hollywood icons like Lucille Ball and Judy Garland, along with multiple presidents, including John F. Kennedy, Ronald Reagan, and Barack Obama stayed here. Of course, one of the hotel's most famous guests has to be Queen Elizabeth herself. I've had the pleasure of enjoying multiple stays at the Awani Hotel, which features 121 rooms, including 24 cottages and 94 hotel rooms, ranging from standard and classic rooms featuring one king or two double beds to multi-room suites. And each room has a bit of special Yosemite history to share. This hotel is six stories tall, and this week Nate and I are staying in the library suite on the sixth floor. Now, when the Awani opened in 1927, the entire sixth floor was a large ballroom. Then a few years later, it was converted into a private residence, and in the 1970s, the sixth floor was remodeled into the guest suites here today. Stepping off the elevator onto the foyer, you're greeted by historic information and photos about the history of the park, the hotel, and the family that operated this Awani Hotel. Only four guest suites are located on this top floor. Let's head in to the library suite.
It's not difficult to see where the library suite got its name. You quite literally have your own little library here. Are you finding anything good to read? Absolutely. <laughs> Now, the library suite is actually a connection of two rooms appointed in a classic English style. And one of the reasons I love this suite, particularly in the winter months, is the private fireplace. A perfect spot to cozy up after a long day exploring the snowy valley floor. along with the fireplace. You have a wonderful dining area, sitting area, and the wood paneling reveals your bedroom. Along with the four poster bed, the windows actually open up and you get a view of Yosemite Falls and the starry night sky here. Now, if you love art like I do, you'll find wonderful pieces throughout the hotel, even in the guest rooms. There's nothing better than opening your window here and seeing the incredible Glacier Point views, and of course, Yosemite Falls too. Thank you so much for joining us this week in Yosemite. And for detailed information on this hotel, see my full blog post at flyingdawnmarie.com. Now there I also have a complete Yosemite section with over two dozen dedicated Yosemite blog posts and YouTube videos. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And until next week, both Nate and I wish you adventure and encouragement wherever you go. And a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs>